Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the sample function in R. So whenever you need to do sampling with replacement or without replacement, a simple and useful function to do this is the sample function. So we're just going to run through a few simple examples and build up complexity as we go along. So sample, open parentheses, we can sample from the numbers 1, to 3 and let's say we want a sample of size 2 comma replace here's where you choose whether true to replace or false not to replace here we'll replace and we get a sample of two numbers with replacement from a from the numbers 1 to 3 from the integers 1 to 3 so if I run these a couple times you see three show up twice so obviously we're replacing okay now to add a little bit more complexity maybe we want to sample with particular probabilities attached to uh, the integers one to three and here in sequence using the concatenate uh, uh, in parentheses we're going to put the probability or the weights for each integer first for one so let's say 10 percent probability of choosing one let's say 20 percent probability of choosing two and obviously the remainder has to be for choosing three which will be 70 percent right so let's hit enter so it was a much higher probability of choosing three than one or two and so we're not surprised that we get two threes and so on okay so in addition to being able to sample numbers, we can also sample characters. So let's say A, B, and C. And we're going to sample three, replace them, let's say false. So we won't get any repeats here. And with the probability weights, we'll keep them like that. So we should expect to see more C's than anything. But when you have when you're replacing them, right, when you're not replacing them, sorry, you're not going to get more threes actually. So we should get, because we're sampling three out of three things, we should get both A, B, and C, right? But here we should probably say with replacement, and let's sample 10. Okay? So we see we're getting quite a few more C's than anything else because the C is attached to the 70% probability. Okay? So, I hope this was helpful uh, and there's some more complexity. You can nest a sample function inside other functions and uh, come up with all kinds of, uh, of ways of sampling populations using this sample command. Okay? So this was just an introduction to the fundamentals of it. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day.